Now we're going to incorporate the minor scale into a walking bass line. And it's really pretty much the exact same thing as incorporating the, the uh, Mixolydian scale into a walking bass line. We're going to focus on the root and we're going to work really hard to um, identify the chord by the roots and the fifths, but then put that, those walking scale notes all around it to kind of make it, make it sound good. So the tune we're going to use is, um, or the changes that we're going to use are from a tune called Mr. PC. It's in C minor, and you'll be able to see the chord changes uh, on this video as we go. Um, it uses a C minor scale, or a C minor chord, then an F minor chord, and eventually it gets to an A flat 7 chord, which is a major scale for four beats, and then a G7 chord, which is also a major scale for four beats, and then it goes back to C minor. But here's what I'm going to do. When I get to that A flat and G chord, rather than mess around with notes that, that don't match up with the minor scale I'm playing, I'm only going to use the root, the fourth, and the fifth degree. You'll remember, those are the same in major and in minor scales, and you'll see how that works really, really nicely. For each chord change, I'm going to anchor my index finger or my first finger on the root. So let's show you how this will work. It starts out with a C minor scale for four bars. So find our C root, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's two bars, keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're ready to go to our next chord, which is F minor, happens to be the four chord, and this will be for two measures, or eight beats. So we'll just kind of go up about half the scale and come back a little bit. And then it goes back to C minor for two measures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, one measure of A flat right here. Then one measure of G. And then back to the C minor. So again, you'll notice on the A flat, in fact, I ended up using root fifth, root fifth, that's even better. And on the G, root fifth, root fifth, and then C minor scale. So let's do it with the changes for you. go again. C minor. F minor. C minor. So, that's incorporating the minor scale into a walking pattern over changes that, that you might be using. Go ahead and try it out in this key, C minor, and then try it out in all kinds of different keys. Uh, that walking minor scale is going to come in real handy in a lot of ways. Good luck.